Because of the coronavirus, Jordan Lowy spends a lot of time messaging with her mom and dad. I was texting my parents about all of the international outbreaks that have been happening. The first year UC student is paying close attention to the virus's spread after being selected for a co-op program in a country south of China. Well, I'm planning on co-oping abroad in Singapore 13 weeks over the summer. Lowy says the key word is planning. Because of the virus, nothing is set in stone. I just have a lot of concerns about it being canceled because of coronavirus concerns. And I keep asking the directors of the company and no one really has any answers to my questions because they're just taking it day by day. Travel expert Dave Hirschberg worries plans to international destinations will be called off even if the virus isn't causing significant problems. If you're not comfortable because of this, don't travel. But don't not travel because you've got some bad information. Hershberger plans to travel to India soon and thinks a trip to Singapore would be just fine too. So safe spots to go. Um, don't go to China right now. Anywhere else? I'd feel pretty comfortable going. Maybe not South Korea, um, but other places it's, it's um, use caution. It wouldn't stop me from traveling, but that's a personal choice. It appears Lowy feels the same way. Even if the program doesn't get canceled, I'm for sure still going to go to Singapore, even if there are still some concerns of coronavirus. But I'm not leaving for another two and a half months, so I'm hoping that everything will be died down by then, or at least slowed down. Now, a spokeswoman for UC says the school's international department is encouraging students to, quote, reconsider personal travel that hasn't already started to any country with a CDC level three or State Department level four advisory. Those travel advisories right now, the CDC ranks China and South Korea at level three. Reporting live, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.